Okay, let us take messages for Cancerians right now. Wow, the Nine of Diamonds and the King of Cups. That's good news, good energies. And we have the Emperor dropping out as well. So you could you're dealing with a masculine love energy right now. Messages. So angel spirits, guides, what's going on in love for Cancerians? There's something on your heart. You could be worrying about your finances. You could be a feminine divine energy that is worrying up, concerned about your money for some reason. Ace of Cups, there's love coming in your way. Someone is choosing you. Someone is putting up a real hard fight, seven on one, so that they can um be happy with you or fight, like um have you yeah you are someone's empress here you're someone's chosen all right this twin flame card here someone chose you someone is um in love with you here someone wants to make you the highlights here um but it feels that you are a kept woman in some way right yeah we have the world card here some i have someone having secrets here and someone may be pregnant and there's a person from your past that wants to come around to you and talk with you they're trying really like they're putting out a lot of effort it's giving me the energy of someone making their way through a, a thick crowd so that they can come to you on the other end of the crowd you know what i'm saying um but someone is trying to make their way through to you so this could be through distractions through family members karmics whatever someone can't wait to burst through that crowd and um find you because they have it's like urgency also urgency we have the ten of swords here showing up so some some something is an emergency um someone has information for you here i hear credit credibility this person they have something to tell you this could be about your skin um this could be a pertaining to a feminine energy or something having to do with court a mother lies documents doctrines yeah so we have these two cards on the table someone wants to come out with some information and like tell you some truth here you could be dealing with a capricorn tell you some truth or something or i'm getting longing also someone is longing to speak with you here this could be a mother someone could be getting married some yeah someone could be getting married here well someone could be pregnant also or the loss of one in some way shape or form i'm also seeing where you're coming to the end of a cycle where you were waiting for someone you were like holding on to someone in your mind in your energy that you you were in love with and you're somehow letting go because you may have been waiting and holding on this could have been a new person i'm getting someone is pregnant someone is a baby someone is a baby mother yeah look the queen of diamonds but i feel like you're gonna give up because you're wondering if someone is choosing you all right with the empress card you're thinking someone may have options here or you're thinking someone is not going to come through for you so this could be your energy or someone else's i'm getting someone is thinking of um letting go like not waiting anymore right because someone was expecting here wow oh my god the two of cups fell to the floor and the magician someone has been sealer that that is a sealer someone has been doing um black magic dark magic to prevent you from listen to this now they've been doing dark magic magic in your love life to prevent you from connecting with someone so this could be the person that's been trying to make their way to you but there's magic going on here in your love life i hear fiance right we have the six of cups so someone may be getting proposed to like you're getting your flowers here you're getting your wishes your dreams come through coming through for you in love someone may be confused or disheveled not knowing what to do when this offer comes their way all right but someone has been doing dark magic in your life yeah for you to fall apart so wow like as i said it so be mindful of the things that you speak there's someone that is jealous of you and like but like god protect us in this world in this um no mess no weapons formed against us shall prosper ten of swords someone wanted you to fall apart because someone want to have your place you may be seeing this person sort of celebrating 
in your place divine feminine energy someone has always wanted to be like you to have what is yours right so whatever so someone wanted to if you're a feminine energy someone wanted to take your man yes this is a ten on ones i'm not lying some someone wanted you to struggle and to suffer here and to be put out and to not be chosen to be humiliated and disgraced someone wanted someone i hear fling someone wanted someone look that that's the talk the karmic devil card right there someone wanted someone to like um ch not choose you you know and have reasons to not choose you someone wanted to make you karmic someone wanted to make you karmic all right so that you would you would be looked down on and disgraced and that the prince would like like not choose you and i feel like this may have happened for some of you the magic may have worked and so this person it, they may i feel like they were doing glamour spells and beauty spells like to make you ugly to take away your beauty to take away your beautiful essence because this person they were always competing with you and jealous of you this person they've always been jealous of your natural beauty your natural like how people just naturally want you so this person they wanted your place very very badly so they would have tried to like um make you seem less attractive less beautiful less um less less um exactly whatever like some just lacking less substantial less worthwhile less be because people always look at you deeply deeply admire you deeply interested in you always asking questions about you you've always been fantastic intriguing just naturally beautiful this person they wanted to destroy that to take that away so that no one would see you like that anymore and so all of the attention would go on them so like because when it's like when you're when you're good when you're not broken down you are loved and admired and appreciated and they can't say anything bad about you so right now i'm feeling like this person also wanted to say bad things about you they wanted to tell people you're no way, no. They wanted to say negative things about you. Someone wanted to really ruin your image, your reputation. This person was competing with you. And so when they would say bad things about you, to talk about you behind your back so that people would laugh at you, Cancerian, um, this person, the people that they were talking to about you are looking at you and saying, no, but she don't look that way. No, he doesn't look that way for true. No, but he, she, she seems to be doing other than you are saying. So this person, they would try to make, go out of their way to even physically set you back so that you would look destroyed. You hear? Okay, that's why that magician card is there. Six of diamonds. This person may, yeah, and the hermit card. This person, they um, they just did not want people to believe in you. They did not want you to be credible. They did not want you to be have any type of a word. They wanted you to, to like maybe suffer, be out on the street, um, and just they would drive past you and look on you and like pity you. But they know that they were doing it to protect themselves or to make themselves chosen. Whatever light and message and truth and beauty you naturally have. There's someone like an evil witch that's probably masculine or feminine that wants your position. Six of cups here and the two of cups. But I'm getting, but they can't have it. We have the two of diamonds and they pay the, um, the two of diamonds and the knight of wands showing up. Now, this is the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this person is vexed now that they can't have what is yours. I'm telling you, someone is vexed that they can't have what is yours. All right, then we start off with the five of pentacles. So someone was a cheater, a liar. Someone was breadcrumbing you. Someone would have like had you out in the cold suffering. You wanted a better connection. You wanted a better relationship. They would have like kept you living underneath a bridge. They would give you any connection, any emotional connection, any truth. So this person is like they were holding on to you and neglecting you at the same time. But I feel like your your psychic abilities kicked in in some way, shape, or form with this high priestess card here. Your divine kicked in and you felt like a no way kind of energy. So you started to take your power back, right? You started to embrace this fire energy inside of you, your insight. It's like you started to come alive because you realized that this your soul was um your soul and your beauty 
your how you were devoting yourself, committing yourself to this person, you were diminishing your own self here. You were neglecting yourself. And so you started to realize that it was in fear. Your value was diminishing here. Um, that was like what this person's real intention was. That's why they, they were keeping you around and breadcrumbing you at the same time. They were probably a part of some society and they were sent to target you in some way, shape or form. But then you learned of this. I don't know, something, maybe you your money was um, also lacking. Like this person wanted to control your money as well. And I feel like I'm not with the Seven of Swords coming out next. I'm not telling any lies. This is the truth. And someone from your past knows the truth as well. This could be a feminine energy that knows the truth about this person. They may want to like try to come around and expose this person to you. However, I feel like you've already separated. I hear bling. You've already separated yourself from this person. You've cut them off and you're working on yourself now. But this past person, they still think they want to come around and give you some information. Um, be mindful of this person to you know, protect yourself. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Because you still have people that are jealous of you even though you made it out and you... You were successful. There were some people that were still plotting against you. Something about cam cameras, all right? They were trying to set you up, spy on you, watch you, laugh at you, um, talk behind your back. Someone may have, like, inflicted another person, too, with something sharp, whatever, on their face. So be mindful of that. We see um, lies also. So that could be lies, here um there are people that are also stalking you in your dream space um in some way your energetic field they think it is fun so you need to put up a protection around yourself they also don't want you to protect yourself because they like that going in and out of your energy but these people they're gonna play with the wrong one know that you are aware you have this insight of what is going on they're gonna be caught up yeah, we have the Hierophant. I hear bells. I'm seeing too that someone did not want you to get married. All right, just so you know, someone didn't, you were supposed to get married. Someone did not want you to get married. Something about a karmic ex. Someone, like I would say, putting spells on you in some way, shape, or form here. This information is coming out to you today for what reason, I do not know. Someone may have um, been working in the medical field as well in some way, shape, or form. They just don't want you to find out some truth, but you are already invigorated with the truth. You are already um, rich with the truth here, and I feel like they cannot stop it. They are really trying to mess with your money, your finances, your education, your mental balance, and everything. So you can f they spend a lot of money too, um, trying to suppress you with negative energies, negative frequencies, negative people they send your way people they send to spy on you um they just don't want you speaking or breaking out or having a different mindset or transitioning so i feel that i can feel that right with the hierophant card they also send these um charm spells toward you as well so that you can you hear that how it rhymed i tell no lie you need to break those spells too with your writing so they have you distracted they have you not like into yourself like you usually are, not deep, not focused, not intentional. That's how they want you, just bobbing right there where they can um, control your frequency, control your energy. The moment you get grounded in something um, deeper and spiritual, your insight, your natural gifts, and you start flying and making like greater decisions, you start prospering. They don't like it when you are set free. They don't like it when your frequency is high and you're getting things together. Someone just does not want you to be set free. All right, we have the two of swords, but with the two of swords on the deck, I'm glad to see this card for you because it, I feel like you're both to outsmart these people and they don't know it. It's like whether they know it or not because you are brave, you're growing, um, you're, you're powerful, you're graceful, and God's mercy is upon you. You're, you're chosen, you're God's child with the Two of Swords here. The Two of Swords is a, the second card from the Ace of Swords. So cry, you're Christ conscious, right? And these people, they're going to be left with whatever thick game that they were creating for you. They're going to be left to play that game all on their own. Because, listen, now you have this great insight and clarity that you need here with this star card. Your vision is coming back. 
and this person that wanted to take your destiny take from you steal from you even your thoughts your mind your memories your feelings your emotions to block you block your vision you may have been even a writer a daydreamer and it's like you, you couldn't write anymore you couldn't spell anymore you know you probably were like the be a beautiful witch and you just couldn't read anymore you couldn't spell anymore you couldn't transition anymore because there are people out there that are stealing from you there are people that are watching you taking your information and using it they're using your energy and they're not giving you anything back from it and they're they're just taking from you and getting super wealthy and um they're building themselves up and they come around and spy and take and you you are left with breadcrumbs and they don't care they literally they really i'm telling you they don't even when I, they if they hear you say it they're not gonna care you're gonna have to find a way to like cut these people for off from out of your life find a way to not give them your information your time your energy take your power back set yourself free i know that i'm saying it and you may be thinking how do i do that oh, wow <laughs> we have the hangman card is next the hangman card is next um we have a uh, danger biker boy passer someone passing by a pass someone Something was illegal. Something is illegal. Something was wrong here. And we have the three of cups here. Uh, whatever someone was doing, it was toxic, karmic, it was wrong, and they shouldn't have been doing this thing to you. Yeah, someone was um like setting you back, holding you back here in some way. Alright? But you are brave. You are braver than this person's thing. So don't think you're not putting up a powerful fight. They want you to think that you're not putting up a fight spiritually, but you are. So really stop giving out your information. Be more secretive. Respect yourself more in some way. Because these people, they're not going to value your time. They're not going to give you anything back. You're just going to use your energy and end up living bread. You're never going to develop. You're never going. It's like you're, there's not any going to be any progress here. You see some people um, working and they're progressing. You can tell that they're developing their life. They're building up their studios. They're getting more resources and more supplies coming toward them. More people coming toward them. Their, their business are growing. Some people, they're, they're, they're not going to grow. No one is going to like support you to grow anymore here. You're not. You're blocked. You know, you're not going to grow here. So whatever you're doing wrong here, you need to cut it off and stop supplying these people. Because they're, they're, they're just going to continue to steal from you and laugh at you and breadcrumb you here. You're not going to grow in this place. And they know it too. And they're just so, I just feel like they're just so, they're not good. They're not nice. People are not nice. People will see you come out day to day and try to do your best and to put out the best work, right? And to serve your purpose and they are just there they see that you're, nothing is going on for you but they will still try to come and take from you and still leave you it's like someone down and someone come and take you think they're just gonna they're gonna come and help you and love you because you're, you whatever you have is valuable they don't see you as a valuable person they just think to come and take your watch and take your shoes off of you and take what's whatever you have and still leave you depraved here even though you come to serve and come to give they don't see you they don't choose you so you're never gonna grow in this position or in this relationship it's not gonna happen this is not a, a, a balanced partnership here these people, these people, they don't care for you. You're just going to continue serving and serving and serving. You're never going to get rich. You're never going to grow properly. You're never going to prosper. That's the energy. That's how they want to keep you stuck. And they think it's cool and they laugh about it. And then they still send spells your way and try to attack you, to, ter to terminate you, to bring you down to exile you and they i'm telling you how they laugh at you that you don't have any money and they take from you and they are i'm telling you that these people are getting rich because i don't know they know but you may not know but anyhow like um and and i think you're smart and something you're gonna have a breakthrough right something is about to unfold for you successfully so that's one positive i see here uh, something unfolding successfully we'll see what it is and i'll catch you in the next one peace